Dear students, welcome to a mechanical engineering YouTube channel. Today in this video, I will discuss some of the most important interview questions on manufacturing technology. So the question number one is what is welding? I think all of you know that welding is a joining process with the application of pressure or heat. You can join two plates by using heat or pressure. So you should also tell the interviewer type of welding process arc welding gas welding resistance welding and the friction welding and we know that in the resistance welding we did not require heat only by pressurizing we can uh, we can join two plates so the second question is which materials are difficult to weld means uh, these are the three material that is difficult to weld means they cannot weld in normal welding process so aluminium cast iron and stainless steel why aluminum is difficult to weld in normal welding process because when you see the oxide of aluminum al2o3 the melting point of al2o3 is 9000 degree centigrade and if you are if you are going to weld aluminum with normal welding process means uh, you have to break this oxide layer from the surface of the aluminum so you, by um, firstly melt this oxide layer 9000 degree centigrade so you cannot break this layer with the help of arc welding or gas welding so uh, this is very this is very difficult to weld so for welding aluminium which uh, welding process we use we have uh, generated a tungsten and gas welding so and the second one is difficult to weld is cast iron because the cast iron is generally prepared by casting process and in casting we know that the material from casting is very weak means it does not have very high strength so when you you when you going to weld material of cast iron it will slowly melt definitely it is it is slowly melt so this will create a problem and the third is stainless steel in the stainless steel we have saw that the chromium is present in the heat affected zone so in the heat affected zone chromium is there so if you use if you if you weld this material so from the heat affected zone chromium will start melting because chromium has very low melting point so when this chromium will start melting in the heat affected zone this will be again a problem so for stainless steel we require a very much high concentration source so that um, high concentration source welding source so for stainless steel we use plasma gas welding and plasma the heat affected zone uh, chromium does not melt okay and the third question is what is the difference between TIG and MIG TIG means tungsten inert gas welding and MIG means metal inert gas welding they both use to weld aluminium and chromium because the oxide of aluminium and chromium has very high melting point like if I tell you the Al2O3 oxide of aluminium it has 9000 degree centigrade so tungsten inert gas welding in which tungsten is a tungsten electrode is used and inert gas is used to break this oxide layer before welding so firstly uh, this inert gas comes on the aluminum surface and firstly this oxide layer is break and then um, then the, then the welding process is done so what is the difference between thing and in the thick tungsten electro electrode is used and the tungsten electrode is non consumable means when if you are if you are welding tungsten will not be consumed and the metal inert gas welding the electrode that we use is metal and the metal electrode it, it is it is non consumable electrode it is console it is consumable electrode means when you start welding this metal this electrode that is uh, made of metal will start consuming and slowly slowly it will be finished and then we have to use again the second second metal tungsten electrode so this is the basic difference and the third is in which con unconventional machining process mrr is high so this is the order of mrr so the, the most uh, plasma plasma machining and electro uh, chemical machining and the edm then usm and the azm so this is the simply the order of mrr and we if i tell you the why in plasma mrr is high because in plasma the temperature is very high suddenly when you when you um, when you hit that electrode to the metal it will slowly in a, in a fraction of a second it will melt so the mrr is very high in in plasma 
you have to remember this question in EDM we use pulse DC so difference between unconventional and conventional machining process so the unconventional machining means in which your bulk piece is not going to hit to the tool so the example of unconventional machining like abrasive jet machining ECM EDM water jet machining so these are the unconventional machining process and the conventional machining process that uh, in lead machine shaper milling drilling machine so in conventional machining process your work which is definitely definitely 100% will touch to the tool then only you can machine but in unconventional machine without touching the piece to the tool we can machine uh, with the help of uh, uh, with the help of hit hit the abrasive particle to the work piece surface so by hitting abrasive particle the work piece surface we can machine with the use with the help of unconventional machining process so the one more one more example means one one very good advantage of unconventional machining is means uh, you can also machine machine the material that is have that having the high strength than the tool in the unconventional machining because in the unconventional machining the tool and work piece will not touch so you simply send the abrasive particle to the machine surface and in un in conventional machining we cannot machine a material in we cannot machine a material that is having high strength to the tool in conventional machining because they, they both have to touch each other the uh, difference between shaper and planer so the sim shaper and planer the concept is very similar when um, when our work piece is small in size we use shaper and in shaper our work piece is fixed and tool is moving and in planer when the our work piece is large so you cannot you cannot uh, uh, move your tool on the work piece because it will require a very high stroke length so just simply uh, hold the tool at one place and move your large work piece uh, so in this work piece is moving work piece is moving and the tool is fixed and in this tool is moving and work piece is fixed so the example of multi point cutting tool so multi point cutting tool is milling cutter milling and drilling these are the multi point cutting tool and the multi point cutting tool are those that when they rotate when they rotate they touch the work piece at, at uh, more than one point so this is the multi point cutting tool and the example is milling and drilling tool what is centrifugal casting centrifugal casting is used to make pipes so in centrifugal casting your pattern your pattern is going to rotate 360 degree and molten metal is filled inside this pattern so you can watch youtube videos of centrifugal casting okay? and the difference between sand casting and die casting so in sand casting our pattern is made up of die means your pattern you can break the pattern after each casting you cannot use uh, you cannot use again and again your pattern so this is the concept of sand casting and in die casting your pattern is made up of metal so you can use this pattern thousand of time or depending on the material so this is the basic difference between sand casting and die casting one more advantage of die casting is that your material that you you produce with the help of die casting will have very high strength compared to sand casting order of accuracy of casting so this is the order of accuracy of casting sabse zyada accuracy aapko investment casting mein milegi kyunki investment casting mein jab aap die prepare karte ho na to usme aap jo aap jo sand hoti hai usme wax pattern milate ho aur sail melting co2 molding and die casting and again in the sand casting mein sabse kam accuracy you will get and the, th the what is rolling forging extrusion and sheet metal operation so dekhiye these are all are forming process means uh, in which you you uh, you are going to form another type another type and shape product with the help of some existing product you have some existing material or product so in rolling you roll two roller two roller and your you will pass a sheet bit inside the in between these two layer, two roller and again the thickness will be uh, thickness will automatically decrease so this rolling process is used to uh, used to decrease the decrease the thickness of your plate and in forging uh, we have know that uh, forging mein kya karte hain aap jo aapka jo jo metal hai us par aap us par aap uh, forge karte ho bar bar usko repeat karte ho aur uske baad uski size ko change ho jata hai extrusion process mein aap kya karte hain आप एक्सट्रूजन प्रोसेस में जैसे आपका जो कॉलगेट होता है कॉलगेट का जो 
कोलगेट की जो वो होती है जिसमें कोलगेट भरा होता है उसको आप ऐसे ऐसे आप उसको दबाते हैं और जब कोलगेट निकलता है तो उसकी जो शेप होती है वो बाहर जो उस पर लगा होता है ढक्कन उस जैसी होती है तो डेट इज़ सिमिलर टू एक्सक्लूजन एंड सीट मेटल ऑपरेशन में क्या होते हैं आपके पास एक वेरी थिन सीट होती है और आप उसको डाई जो आपकी जो डाई होती है उनके बीच में आप इसको रख देते हो सीट को सीट को रख दिया और उस पर फिर उसको दबाते हो तो दबाने के बाद उसकी जो शेप होती है वो चेंज हो जाती है तो डेट इज़ सीट मेटल ऑपरेशन एंड वॉट इज़ मिलिंग ऑपरेशन मिलिंग ऑपरेशन में क्या होता है आपका एक मिलिंग कटर होता है और जिसमें बहुत सारे कटर लगे हुए हो बहुत सारे ऐसे लगे हुए होते हैं कटर दैट इज़ अ मल्टी पॉइंट कटर टूल ये मल्टी पॉइंट कटिंग टूल है तो इसकी हेल्प से आप बहुत सारे ऑपरेशन कर सकते हो इसकी हेल्प से आप